The twisters came one after another. Dozens strafed Tornado Alley in the Southern Plains last night. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska were in the crosshairs. Some places got five to eight inches of rain. Today, there were piles of wood where the homes stood. One person was killed, more than 65 hurt, and more severe storms are racing through the region tonight. Adriana Diaz is in Bridge Creek, Oklahoma. Adriana. Scott, as you can see, the rain is starting to pick up again. Now this overturned chair, this sink, all of this insulation around me didn't come from the building right behind me. It came from a trailer home across the street more than 70 yards away, giving you a sense of the power of this storm. The view from this drone camera brings the path of destruction into focus. This Oklahoma City motel reduced to rubble. Jimmy McQuinn was a motel guest. It just kept coming. It kept coming. I, we lost everything. We got nothing. Just half a football field away, the scene wasn't any better. Mobile homes tossed aside. Damage Fire that Chief Keith Bryant helped get people to safety. You know, RVs and mobile homes don't fare too well in these types of storms. When you first arrived at the scene, what was your thought? A lot of debris. Uh, access issues, so all that kind of added to the difficulty that we faced. The tornado is on I-44 at the moment and getting stronger. Flash flooding made it worse. The one death, a 42-year-old woman found drowned in her storm shelter. Oh man, there it is. The massive storm started to roll through the Southwest Plains Wednesday and throughout the night. The National Weather Service says at least 50 tornadoes were reported, spread across more than 460 miles from Oklahoma to Nebraska. Bridge Creek, Oklahoma was one of the hardest hit towns. More than 1,500 homes and farms damaged or destroyed. Mark Crick lost his trailer home and his welding shop but he hasn't lost hope. You just gotta remember, it's, it's just stuff. And uh, you know, it can all be replaced. And as long as nobody gets hurt and families all together, we're good. Scott, all day, residents have been busy trying to cover up what they can, what's left of their homes. They're determined to prepare for this next round of storms. And more violent weather is on the forecast for Friday and Saturday. Adriana, thank you very much.